Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm back. I'll, I'll put together a video here in the next couple of weeks and let you know why I've been missing in action all summer. It's just been a crazy busy, busy summer. That said, a couple weeks ago, Todd from Oxcart emailed me and asked me if I'd like to review his new Oxcart his new dump cart. Of course I said yes. So a couple days ago here this box showed up on my front porch. So let me get it off the porch and we'll get it over to the garage and we'll open it up and see what's in there. Well it's big. So let's see what's in the box. First off, it says developed, tested, manufactured, and assembled in Kansas, USA. No Chinese junk here. And it looks like this is meant to slide out of the box, but I've got a really sharp knife, so I'm just going to cut the top of the box off. Don't think there's anything in here to wreck. Cool. You didn't get to see that, did you? So, I see wheels, I see something long, I see a box of parts, and a manual. Todd's always been really good at putting his manuals together well, so yes, all the parts are laid out size-wise, and it goes through it step by step. So let me get a couple pieces out of here and uh, we'll start putting it together. Okay, box one. The black bag full of bolts and clips. Two big long pins and a shock. Okay. Another box here. Can you see that?
All right. I'm going to show you specifically how this is different than the original ox cart, but I can see one thing right now. The hitch is a lot bigger and it's got holes in it on the sides here so you can bolt a one and seventh one and seventh eighths or a two inch ball receiver on it so if your ATV has uh, a ball hitch on it this is easier to hook up yes it is designed for an ATV all right let me set this off to the side and we'll deal with the tub Well, looking at the new tub, the new tub is stronger and it's definitely bigger. The original tub is 12 cubic feet. Uh, this new tub is 15 cubic feet. It does have some little cutouts here on the side and there are instructions in the uh, manual where you can build a little wood side to it to uh, make it a little bit bigger and that'll give you about 17 cubic foot so this is a good sized tub now the hardest part about putting these together in any of these poly tubs is getting the frame on the tub itself if you've got two people if you've got somebody to help you it works really really well otherwise what i do is i take and clamp the Otherwise what I do is I take and I clamp the tub on an angle like this on, a, on my workbench and then I, that way I can reach around and put the bolts in to put the frame on. And there is a bag in here. Everything is labeled really nicely. Um, the bag says bed frame assembly. So it's got all your bolts and your nuts and your washers. And and it's just four bolts to put it on. Another thing that I've noticed so far is this frame is larger and wider than the original frame. The original, the original frame had tabs on it to bolt it up. Uh, this is going to give you better support so your tub doesn't warp on you if you could put really heavy loads in it. First thing to do is make for sure you're putting it on correctly. And the sloping end is the end that gets the pieces out here the front which is not as sloping is where the hitch goes into so you'll need a washer and a bolt on this side Then you'll need a washer and a nut on the other side. And they are locking nuts, so they're not going to vibrate off on you. Uh, they're not stainless steel either, but I didn't expect that at all. but they are good quality. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of these on and we'll take the next step. Okay, from here on it gets pretty simple. You need your axle assembly and you need your tongue. The tongue has two different size holes on it. 
small holes on one end, large holes on the other. Grab the pin. for the large hole and stick that in and I'm going to flip this a little bit so you can see what I'm doing and we'll put a washer on it and a cutter pin put a washer on it again and a cutter pin and take and spread that cutter pin out I'll do that in a second so what you'll end up with is you'll end up with the tongue and the hitch here. <clears throat> I have a pliers over here and it's not too rusty. And you just want to open this up enough so it won't vibrate out just fine. Next step is you take the bag with the pivot bracket assembly bolts and put these in. I like to put them with the pins on the outside just so it doesn't catch stuff if you're pulling it through the brush, stuff like that. Come on. And if you're like me, once in a while you have a little problems finding getting those holes all lined up, but it's not the equipment's fault, it's your fault, and particularly my glasses. Then there are two little spring clips that hold this on. I like to use pliers if I can because I get a little better grip that way. If you got strong fingers you can use, you don't need to use the pliers. Alright, that's on. Now, <clears throat> just to check, this hitch should be in the right spot too. And it is. Okay, so it's a swivel hitch and it tilts. Can you all see that? Just a couple more steps. The next is strut assembly. And strut assembly. There's two bags. One's got a bolt in it. We'll do this one first. By the way, compared to the original ox cart, this one has a lot more clearance here. You with the it. It comes in two ways. We're going to give you, uh, Todd's going to give you a choice of 15 inch tires like what were on the original cart or 16 inch tires with taper roller bearings in them. The taper roller bearings are really nice because it uh, it's a high speed wheel then so you can pull it behind your ATV and you can go down through the woods and down the gravel road and the highway and all that type of stuff. All right, over here on this side there's a bolt hole. Put your and there's two washers. So I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna again put the bolt on the outside and the nut on the inside just so it doesn't snag stuff. And 
and I'll tighten that down in a minute. And we'll unlatch this. And bring this up until it's in the hole. And yeah, that swivels. Did I tell you that? <laughs> okay, so open the other bag. And this one says strut assembly. And again, there's two washers and a nut. And we're going to put a washer on both sides so everything is nice and strong. Okay, now to hold this strut, you either use an open-ended combination, open-ended wrench, or a small crescent wrench. I don't really recommend the pliers because it's kind of a narrow spot here. Um, <clears throat> but something to hold this from spinning, and then tighten up your nut, same way down on the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and do that quick. Alright, so once you have that done, Go ahead and test it. And this strut is stronger and from where and where it's placed now, you have a lot more lifting force than you did on the other other one. The other one had about 70 to 150 pounds of lifting force. And if you're doing uh, you know most things around the yard, that was plenty. But if you filled your ox cart up with uh, gravel or anything like that, it was not enough. It wasn't near enough. So this new one now has about 300 pounds of lift force. And depending on where your load is at, anywhere from probably 250 to 500 pounds total. So if you got this fully loaded with dirt and so it's going to be a lot easier to lift, no one else has that kind of lifting force on their on their dump carts. So we're good so far. Next step, I believe, is the wheels. All right, we're getting down to the end here pretty quick. Two more things to do: put the wheels on and grease them. By the way, this uh, yard cart, ATV trailer, whatever you want to call it, is available and ready to ship through Home Depot. So if you're uh, if you're ready for a yard cart this fall, this one's this one's available and ready to go. All right, in the box, when you order the ATV cart you get the 16 inch wheels so in the box there's going to be two sets of axles a long and a short one you want the long ones and let's see how easy these go on they rattle a little bit so I know there's bearings in them there we go and I'm going to put a washer and another clip in. And use your pliers to open this cotter pin. Alright, let's put this last one together.
And there is a grease cirque on these and on one side and the and the valve stem on the other side of the tire. I'm going to put the on this one I'm going to put the grease zerks inside so they don't catch stuff as easily. If I didn't have the grease zerks I always kind of put my um, valve stems on the inside so they don't get full of dirt quite as quickly if you forget your caps. Alright so let me go get a grease gun and we'll fill them. Alright, how much grease did you put in them? Well, enough. I'm going to put enough in so I start seeing grease coming out of one side of the axle or the other. is just starting to come out this side. Do, do, do. I bought this electric grease gun because uh, the Ford Boomer out to the farm has a lot of grease zerks on it and and the deck always needs greasing. Uh, it was an old deck so it needed greasing every single time I used it so it was a lot faster with this. quicker. One last thing with a grease gun. Grease gets everywhere. Just plain and simple. It gets everywhere. And so it's always a good idea to wipe the end of your grease gun down and then store it if you can in the holder. Same thing with your grease zerks. Take and wipe them off that way they won't collect dirt and when you're running down the highway they won't splatter up on your ATV so by the way these tires are four ply tires they're uh, not for highway use but you can run them behind your ATV and you never have any problems with them they're the ones that I'm showing you today are 16 inch tires and uh, you can also get the 15 inch, the regular yard yard tires. See, grease gets everywhere. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to go ahead and check the tire pressure. Uh, the sidewall says 15 to 22 pounds. And I need to take this battery out of here, put it in this. We'll check them quick. And then I'll take it down and we'll compare it to the other cart. Alright, it has 18 pounds in it. I'm happy with that. Like I said, sidewall says 15 to 22. If you're really pulling heavy loads, uh, bump it up to 22. These uh, treads are turf treads, so they don't uh, tear up your yard but yet they have a little traction to them so you can pull them along a side hill and they won't uh, the cart won't slip down on you and that one has 19 in it close enough alright let me get this 
down and we'll do a little comparison. All right, let's see what we got here. Number one, the tires are quite a bit bigger. Number two, the lift cylinder has moved. So instead of having about seven inches of clearance, you now get a full 13 inch. Can you see the, act, the t trailer tongue? Trailer tongue is a lot heavier. The frame also, the axle itself, um, he's using a different press on these. Uh, he's using a NASCAR style press. So the there's not gonna be any weak points in it over time. Uh, it's not gonna crack or bow here on the corners. The frame of the machine on the tub is wider and heavier than the original frame. Um, instead of having the little latch that is really good for getting caught on your pant legs, you now he's got a, a round latch here. So I um, like that a lot. Um, also where he put the strut this time, the strut gives you a lot more lift and it's a much heavier strut. So you get up to 300 pounds of lifting force, uh, so it'll be a lot easier to dump heavy loads with. I don't have time today to bring this out to the farm and load it up and run it around and beat it and beat it up, but uh, I hope to get that done in the next couple days and I'll put out another video. If I don't get it done, as soon as I get back from GIE Expo next week, we'll get out there right away and get this. This uh, cart is available through the Home Depot, and it's in stock, ready to go. I'll leave some links below. Uh, he's actually... He <clears throat> Ox cart also has a bunch of different variations to the old one and the new one. So the pricing is good. You get a really, really heavy duty cart here for the price, especially when you start comparing it to some of the other ones out there on the market. So I will see you next week after the uh, Lawn and Garden Show and uh, we'll go from there. Talk to you later, bye. Down.